Well, Daily Mail TV is back and better than ever. After having three successful seasons, they are back for their fourth. The must-watch Emmy-winning show, which is executively produced by my son Jay, myself, and Carla Pennington, brings to life the best of DailyMail.com. Breaking news, exclusive, showbiz, health, crime, science, and technology. It brings the best of the world's most popular newspaper website, DailyMail.com, to life on television. Season 4 launched September 14th. Take a quick look. Daily Mail. Daily Mail. Daily Mail. Hi, I'm Thomas Roberts, the new host for a whole new season of Daily Mail TV. Stories you will only see one place. I do remember being called fat. From breaking news <laughs> to the biggest stories of the day. A marriage on the brink. And the most compelling true crime. Ken Glenn Maxwell be kept safe in prison. They wanted revenge. And the award winning Daily Mail TV. It's a new season with a new host, with veteran journalist Thomas Roberts stepping into the spotlight. Now to cyber hacking elections. And with November quickly approaching, cybersecurity expert and former White House Chief Information Officer Teresa Payton believes criminals are back at it, working diligently to influence and disrupt the 2020 elections. We turn now to Gate Crasher. That is the title of Avenue Magazine editor-in-chief Ben Whittacombe's new memoir. And his new tell-all New York City's premier gossip guru fills all the juicy tea with this insider look at America's obsession with celebrity. It's time for the last piece of mail and a canine klepto. Pretty talented, right? That's quite a reach. That is your last piece of mail. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Please welcome to the show the new host of Daily Mail TV, Thomas Roberts. Hey, Dr. Phil. Thomas, how are you doing? I am great. Thanks for having me. Well, listen, I want everybody to know we are so excited to have you at the helm. Thomas is a respected veteran of television news for over 25 years, so he is not new at this by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, he has won the Edward R. Murrow Award, a National Emmy Award, the Human Rights Campaign's Visibility Award, uh, the Vito Russo Glad Award. I mean, he just goes on and on and on. So we are so proud to have you, and, and I just hope you're having fun already. I'm having the best time. So thank you, because this is an amazing show. I've been a fan since the very beginning, and obviously I've been a consumer of Daily Mail, and it's you know, global footprint for a very long time. I was, you know, in cable news uh, for many years, and a lot of Daily Mail stories were a foundational uh, impetus to get certain guests for the cable product that we were trying to put on. So I am just thrilled to be here, and I'm loving everybody so far because it's a reunion with the executive producers that I've worked with in the past. And the show is now in its fourth season. What can viewers look forward to? I know that we're in pandemic, and so there's a lot of news going on there, a countdown to the presidential election. What can, what can people look forward to? We are in front of all of that, bringing it to our viewers on a daily basis, as well as the impact that's going to have on the 2020 race. So we get some of the best exclusives in politics, and we're going to bring that to our viewers. Plus, I have a really deep Rolodex. I mean, I, it makes me sound old to say Rolodex, uh, but... Some people will know what I'm talking about. I've been around for a long time, and I've got some great political sources that I want to tap into to bring exclusively to our viewers, and I really look forward to that and bringing those nuggets that only I can find to our product here at Daily Mail TV. You guys are off to a really rolling start, and uh, I can't wait to see what you're going to bring to the table. Thank you very much. I, I really appreciate that. I really do. You bet. All right, I'd like to thank all of my guests today and a special thanks to the new host of Daily Mail TV, Thomas Roberts. Tune in to season four and showtimes can be found at dailymailtv.com.